What's up everybody, Landon with LMR.com. Welcome to my overview and install on this Run Channel weather strip intended for the 1993 to 1995 first generation Ford Lightnings. Jumping right into the details on this Run Channel weather strip. Each weather strip is going to be constructed from quality rubber, which is going to allow for a long service life. Of course, each weather strip will incorporate a felt lining, so you won't have to worry about it scratching your door glass. After all, this is the weather strip that the window rides in between as it moves up and down. Taking a closer look at each run channel, you'll find that the correct channel is molded into the rubber so that it stays properly secured. Now each run channel is sold by itself for those of you wanting to replace just one side or it's going to be sold in a kit as well for those of you out there wanting to freshen up both sides of the truck. These particular run channels are not going to be side specific, meaning they'll work with either the driver or the passenger side of the truck. Starting with the door panel removed from the truck, lift up on the outer door belt to remove it. Remove the 11 millimeter bolt at the center of the door. Remove the two 7 millimeter screws at the top of the door. Tilt the vent window assembly enough to expose the run channel. Pull the run channel away from the door and all the way out from the back of the glass. Carefully pull the glass forward to ease the disassembly. Now pull back on the glass to remove the frontward part of the run channel from the vent window assembly. Rotate the vent window assembly 90 degrees toward the inside of the truck and then carefully pull out at a 45 degree angle to remove it from the truck. Of course, be mindful not to scratch the door glass. Take this time to thoroughly clean the area. Place the vent window assembly on a workbench and wipe it down as well. Align the corner of the new run channel with the corner of the assembly. Fully seat the run channel into the assembly. Some overhang will be present, but me personally, I would go ahead and leave this as it won't interfere with anything. Ensure that the corners are aligned. Apply a dry type silicone to the felt. Reinstall the assembly into the door. Align the weather strip at the top of the door and fully seat it. Bring the door glass toward the front of the door to make room so that you can fully seat the run channel. You may find that a plastic pry tool will help ease the installation. Apply a dry type silicone to the felt. If it helps, apply the silicone to a lint-free cloth and wipe the felt that is inside of the door. Bring the door glass back into the run channel. Align the vent window assembly and make sure the door glass is aligned with the run channel. Make sure you completely seat the run channel at the corner of the door and the vent window assembly. Align the bolt hole in the middle of the door. Snug down the 11 millimeter bolt, but do not fully tighten. Align the top bolt holes and finger tighten the 7 millimeter bolts. Ensure that the vent window assembly is properly aligned and then you can fully tighten the hardware. Reinstall the outer door belt. Position the door panel into place and pass the electrical connections through the opening. Reconnect the courtesy light and rotate clockwise. Bring the door handle up and pass the door panel over the handle. Of course, make sure the door lock actuator knob passes through the opening. Fully seat the clips and then reinstall the six outward Phillips head screws. Reinstall the Phillips head screw in the door cup. Position the door switch board into the cover. Carefully retighten the screws. Reconnect the power mirror switch if it's equipped. Retighten the Phillips head retaining screw. Go ahead and check your work. Repeat these steps for the other side. Go ahead and check for operation and then you're all finished. All right guys, this may seem like a ton of work, but trust me, it is a lot easier than it looks. Removing the vent window assembly is highly recommended. That way you have maximum work room. Of course, some of you may install this with the vent window assembly still in the truck, but overall this run channel weather strip fit really good into our little red 95 light. To see more how to and review videos covering industry leading products, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, and don't forget to turn on notifications. While you're at it, check out our other videos and don't forget to shop LMR.com for all things 1979 to present Mustang and of course, SVT Life.